Hey everybody, Terry Bradley here again, SimpleSwingThoughts.com. Welcome to week number 13 of the Swing in the Spring 2015. Now, this video, we're going to talk about the driver, all about the driver, probably more than you ever wanted to know about the driver. Okay, so I'm going to open up with a few swings of my own, and then I'm going to get into some, some steel pictures of myself. I'm going to get into some steel pictures of John Daly, Tiger Woods, and then I'm going to sum it up with swings again to make sure that you understand that this takes only a split second for the ball to come off the club face and we still have to compress it okay so let me get started i'm going to start out with a couple of swings here and and see what we got here so i'm going to start with a couple of swings i'm going to slow it down and i'm going to go back and swing again okay so and here we go we're going to break it all down okay so i'm going to start out the swing here I get it going here okay now what's going to happen is I'm going to slow it down and I just want you to see how I get separation. I want you to see how I swing around my spine. I want you to see how I drop the club right into place as I come through the ball, compress the ball, and then there it goes. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go back and review that again. So we're going to swing. There's the compression. Now I'm going to break it down again. I'm going to slow it down. Again, get the spacing, get the club on plane, swing around your spine, drop your arms, drop your elbow into your right side, seal your elbow, head behind the ball, and release through the ball. Okay, now, so here we go. So the driver is the biggest club in your bag. Okay, it doesn't have any loft, hardly. It doesn't have any grooves, and it doesn't have any offset. Okay, a lot of us are sometimes hitting 7-degree drivers. Some of us are hitting 10-degree drivers. But the most important thing you have to understand is the driver needs to be compressed just like you would compress an iron off the tee or just like you would compress an iron in the fairway. Now, why is that? Because, see, what happens is even though it doesn't have any grooves, it doesn't have any offset, you still have to make sure that you square this club face. And the best way to square the club face is using the leverage release grip here at 2.6 in Simple Swings by compressing with your right forearm, okay, and I have it marked here in red. You have to square the club face with your leveraged or your bowed right forearm, okay? It's vital, vital, vital that you don't scare yourself out of compressing this club, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna slow this down a little bit, and as I compress, I want you to notice how the ball's coming off the club face. Okay, the club face is square, my wrists have not broken, they haven't rotated at all, but yet the ball is well gone. Okay, so I'm going to get to this next slide. I'm going to slow it down for you just a little bit more. Okay? Now, as we come to this slide, I want you to understand a couple things. Okay, again, my right forearm is square in the club face. Okay, as you can see, the black arrow is pointing to my right forearm being leveraged. My wrists have not rotated. My wrists are just like they were at a dress, okay? And what happens is you're compressing the driver again, just like you're compressing the iron, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get into a series of steel pictures of myself, John Daly, Tiger Woods, and then I'm going to sum it up with how the club or how the, the swing takes place in two seconds. But all this, what you're seeing right now, is happening within a fraction of a second, okay? So there's not a situation where you need to hold on to anything okay this is not a hold on drill this is not a hold on swing it happens in a fraction of a second and let me get into it right away so here we go okay so on the takeaway the driver make sure just like any other club you take it away on plane okay you can't get scared here guys you've got to create width if you don't create width with the driver then you're done if there's any if there's any club in the bag you need to create width width it's the driver, okay? And as you come into this picture here, notice how wide my arms are away from my body, okay? Notice the, the width box that I talked about way back in, I think, like week three with, with the irons. Notice, again, the width box that I have between my forearms, the, the shaft, and my, my body, okay? Now, as I come to the top of the swing, notice how I swing around my spine, okay? Notice I don't sway back. I swing back against my spine and I get my club almost to parallel. 
Now notice what happens as I drop the club. I want you to notice this. I drop the club. I just drop the club. Okay. When I drop the club, my head, I'm going to draw a line here. Sorry. When I drop the club here, notice that everything now is starting to shift. And the weight of my head, which is right here, is going to stay back here so everything can shift to the left. That means that my right elbow here is going to be pinned to my right side. Okay? So let's take a look. So as I come through, there you go. See how my right elbow now is pinned to my right side? So from here to here, see from here to here, it's a pinning of my right elbow to my right side. Again, my head staying behind the ball. So now as my next graph shows as I come through, notice how now I'm creating lag with my driver right here. Okay, now I want you to notice something right here. Okay, I want you to notice. With irons, usually what happens, let me draw a quick line here. With irons, usually you have the, the, the shaft coming back this way. Oh gosh, I don't think you can see that. Let me so now, as you can see, on an iron shot, my shaft would be more in here. Okay? But with the driver, you can't get that much lag. So the lag is going to be, again, more, more down here, which is fine. This is, this is great lag for a driver as long as the club is. So you've got to make sure that you get the lag. And again, you get the lag by making sure you pin your arm to your right side. You drop your arm straight down. Okay? So, as we continue through, what I want you to understand is, when that happens, then you can get the lag. Now, as we come through to the, to the, to the impact, now notice, again, the impact, the arms and the wrist are not moving. Okay? This is a perfect example of the leveraged release grip, the leveraged release setup. For those of you who feel like that you probably can't get that club through, Notice how when I come through the ball, notice how my grip looks perfectly straight now. The grip now looks like a traditional grip. It looks like, oh, I just gripped the club, you know, naturally on the club head and, and, and things like that. No, this is a leverage release grip. I gripped under the club. I turned my wrist just a little bit. No, I'm sorry. Let me back up. I grabbed under the club. I did not turn my wrist because there's no natural offset on the driver. Okay, so let me... Repeat that. I did not turn my wrist. I just grabbed under the club. I had the bowed right forearm set, or the stacks right forearm set, and I was ready to hit. And this is the result that you get right here when you come through the ball, head behind the ball, and your forearm is squaring the club face. So this grip right here looks like a natural grip that I didn't even grab under the club. But this is the way it's supposed to look. Okay? So as I keep going, there's my follow through. There's where I release to the target. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to speed up a little bit now. I'm going to bring some, some John Daly and Tiger Woods real quick. And what I'm going to show you exactly, whoever wrote these, these, these slides really did a great job. Okay, because it really sums up everything that I've been talking about right here at Simple Swings. Okay, so let's get into John Daly real quick. Now, as you can see, John Daly is right here. It says that the left, the left wrist will be cupped and the right palm almost facing the sky. Okay, now what does that sound like? That is the leveraged release grip. The tour pros use it, guys. I'm telling you, this is how you swing the golf club, and it's really easy once you get, once you get the hang of it. Okay, so again, his left wrist is cupped. The, it seems like the right palm is facing toward the sky. Okay, now as he comes into impact, notice this. It says the club face is still open at impact. Okay, don't want this to scare you guys, okay? Because, again, what's saving you guys right here, what, save, what, what is saving you is the right forearm. I can't overemphasize that enough. The right forearm is what's going to square the club face, okay? So now, as we come into impact, it says the face, the face is closing while the ball is being compressed. That's, that's an excellent, excellent picture right here. The face is closing while the ball is being compressed. So as John uses the right forearm to compress that ball, the face now is beginning to close because see what happens is that ball stays on that club face for a fraction of a second. From this angle here, where the club face is still open at impact, to actually impacting the ball right here. These two slides here 
is just a fraction of a second, all orchestrated by your right forearm, squaring that club face and getting to the follow through. Now let's get to John's follow through. Now as he's, as he's coming to the follow through, right here, okay, as he's, okay, as he's, the, the ball is being compressed, as he gets to his release, it says the club face is fully released and the ball goes far and straight. And that is right. Again, as he's here, he rotates to the ball, he throws his club to the target, the ball goes straight and long, okay? Now, real quick, Tiger Woods, same thing. I want you all to get this. Tiger Woods, the same thing. Now, Tiger at address, as you can see, he's got the leverage grip going, okay? Now, as Tiger's coming through the ball, notice this. Notice how deep his right elbow is in his right side. This is so leveraged, it's incredible to have this much lag on a driver, okay? Again, all this is being stored for power, okay? Now, as Tiger comes into the ball, again, notice. Notice at impact, his wrists are straight, okay? When I say straight, they're basically in the position that they were at address, and now he's compressing that ball. Let me, let me just do this right here. He's compressing the ball with the right forearm for a fraction of a second. The ball's gone, but yet the, the club is still going to be square to your target line. Okay? Now, again, at, at the release, at the rotation release, notice how now he's totally released the club. Everything is pointing toward the target. Right arm's here. Left arm, I'm sorry, right arm's there, left arm's there. Now, I want you to notice one thing. I'm going to go back to Tiger's address. I want you to picture this, this little, these little brown spots behind Tiger's head right there, okay? We're going to go back to his address, okay? Here's Tiger at address, okay? The reason why I'm pointing this out is notice the brown spots right there. Tiger's head's going to actually get further behind the ball, okay? The further you can get your head behind the ball at impact, the more release leverage you're going to have, okay? So there's the spots right there. Now notice, again, the spots right here he's actually a little further behind the ball okay so there you go so it's it's a matter of getting into this angle here so you can get to your to your left side there again the right side slows down the left side pushes through okay so review this video now I'm gonna I'm gonna sum it up with my swing from the ground up and you're gonna see all this happening within two seconds and this is why it's so hard to pick it up on TV because it's just simply too fast okay so I'm gonna sum this video up with with my swings uh, real time but again I want you guys to understand that, that the driver is something that you really really don't have to be scared of we can really start pounding the driver as far as we want again for those of you who aren't signed up for 2.6 member it's coming soon coming within the next I guess couple weeks I know I keep saying that Apple is, is finally getting on the ball we're gonna have a great time um, and what I'm gonna do between now, week 14 through week 18, I'm going to do some reviews. I'm going to go back and look at um, some of the comments I've had, the most popular comments I've had. I'm going to talk about the physics of the clubs. And it's all going to make sense to you because you all should have a firm grasp on uh, the two simple swing thoughts leading to all six major golf swing positions. That's what 2-6 stands for, okay? If you have any questions, please put them in the comment box below because, again, the next four weeks is going to be review. And we should all be ready. All should be ready for the driver. Um, come the spring okay so look at these last two swings and you'll see how all this sums up in a split second on these last two swing thoughts or these last two swing drivers from me okay terry bradley simpleswingthoughts.com week 13 the driver and i'll talk to you in week 14 next week